So, Ella Rain. Thank you for inviting me um, out here to tell my story. So for me, uh, being a female in the service starts back in high school to, to explain to where I am now. So I was a senior in high school. I was doing okay making the A's and B's, the grades, and no one in my family had gone to college. So it was just, it was just me. And knowing that we didn't have the money, it was how was I gonna pay for school? Here I was in a high school um, where we weren't allowed at first. It had, uh, they had rezoned it so that we could be, so that we could attend. I wanted, the, I wanted to attend a good school. I knew I wanted to go to college, but how was I gonna get there? So was that, for me, I was in a program called Upward Bound that helped me to look at schools and they helped me do applications. And with that, I didn't want to go in the Army because I had that infantry thought. I was not the female that was going to be running up and down, jumping in the ground, shooting guns and all. That was not for me. However, the Army had an ROTC scholarship. And for me, that was going to be my way out. I was going to go to school. I was not going to have to ask my parents to pay for school. And I was not going to bring back debt into the house. And so I took it. I signed up for it. But what I found while I was in college is, hey, this ROTC thing isn't that bad and I don't have to be the infantryman. <laughs> I don't have to take that job. I, there are other opportunities. I can, I can help. I can give, give back to others. And that's always been in my heart. So the Army gave me, like he said, the personnel job. And yes, a lot of times it's human resources and you're taking care of general officers or other senior leaders. But the other great thing is I got to be in Postal and, and being in Korea and seeing the smile on other soldiers' faces when they receive those packages during the Christmas holiday season. Then to turn around and as I moved up a little bit in the ranks, to also see, help other people to get promoted, to help them get their files together. And it's just always being able to give back for what has been given to me. So it's, de it's, so, it's just determined to make a difference. There's some challenges there, of course. Young girl, never uh, first one from her family to go to college, first time being away from home not knowing what to expect and, and, and so the, ev the evils of the world are out there and they're going to prey on, they prey on girls all the time. But it's just a matter of being determined, being focused and just I'm not going to let that happen to me because I want to achieve something. I want to be able to give back and I want to make my family proud. So that, that's kind of what happened to me as far as moving into the service. To add a little bit more to that, so most recently um, like you said, sometimes getting into infantry, there's also the unit called Special Operations. So there's an opportunity where, like I said, those challenges come. They had never had a female come, especially <coughs> not for AGR, come and serve in one of the positions that they had. But it was just a matter of going in and, and understanding before I got there, because I was told, oh, they, they don't, they don't, they're not sure they want you to come because you're a female and they've never had a female. I, it, it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show them that I can run, I can jump, and I can still do my job. And so that's what I, that's what I went in and did. So th those biases are gonna be there, you, but you just work through it. You know what they are, you know what you, you know you're, what you're gonna be presented with, and you just still go in and do the best that you can. And even now, the Army has changed. I don't know how familiar you are with, they've, they're starting to allow females into infantry branches. The genesis of that is because our four-star generals don't in, didn't in the past include females. So one of the, so one of the ways that they've decided that they're going to change that dynamic is to let females go into rangers, let them be special forces officers, let them allow them to compete for those positions. So the opportunities are are wider now. We now we have three-star generals, we have four-star general females, and and they're still making it. And that's what makes me proud and makes me happy to continue to serve.